What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Monday to you guys. So, guys, this morning I was in the mood for a different type of breakfast. So, I thought, what can I fix today that I have not fixed in such a long time? And shrimp and grits came to mind. So, this morning, guys, I'm going to be making some curry shrimp and grits. I've never fixed or had curry shrimp before, and I thought, what better time to try it with some shrimp? So, I have some shrimp here, already peeled the vein with the tails on, so I'm gonna take the tails off of. And I have some grits. All right, I have everything here set up, so I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna cook the grits later, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the curry sauce done. I'm only going to use probably one cup of water for the curry sauce because that should be enough that should be enough for one serving and I'll get the grits going a little later. All right, I'm going to be using my rice cooker for the curry sauce. I'm just going to use one one chunk of curry. And this is not gonna be all fancy. I'm not gonna cut up peppers and onions and all of those things. I'm gonna use some salt and pepper, some butter for the grits. And the star of this meal is going to be the curry with the shrimp in it. So it's gonna be very basic as far as seasonings and everything is concerned. I'll go ahead and put that on slow cook, but I'm starting to think maybe I should maybe put it on the white rice because that might uh, get the sauce going a little sooner, a little quicker. But anywho, let's get into some of this shrimp here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tails off of some of these shrimp. Oh my, some of them have frozen. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, where can I put this? That would make it easier for me to throw away. Well, my refrigerators be working really well. I should have sat these in some cold water for about 10 minutes and let them defrost. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take these over to the sink right here and run some cold water over because these bad boys are frozen right now. They have this outdoor sink right here, which is pretty neat.
Let me show you guys where the water goes. There's no plumbing to this sink. The water goes right down into this little well in the ground. <laughs> See that? <laughs> and I guess over time it evap evaporates. But it is pretty convenient to have. I usually do some dishes over there. It's only like cold water, it's not hot water. But still, it's very convenient. I got some neighbors or neighbor. All right, guys, and just that quick, in a matter of minutes, the shrimp have uh, thawed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, taking the tails off of them. These are gonna be so good. This curry is getting done a lot sooner than I expected it to. It started to clunk up a little bit. Good thing I looked at it when I did. It's kind of like making gravy out of the little small packets. The brown gravy, McCormick brown gravy. I don't want this to cook up really fast. <clears throat> I want it to cook slow. So I think I'm gonna change the setting to something else. Cause it was, it was like borderline. It was like borderline starting to boil. All right, there we go. Now that I still see a couple more chunks. And this is not as thick as I want it to be. I may have to add another cube in there, which I really don't want to do because I have a full pack and I usually uh, use two of them when I make like the curry chicken. And it's my last half a pack that I have. So maybe that was just a tad bit too much water. But we'll see. Now that I have, uh, now that I've stirred it up and got the clunks and stuff out, maybe it'll be okay. All right, let's get the grits going since that is starting to do its thing a little sooner than I expected to do. All right, use my new two burner cooktop, but I'm only, of course, using just one burner for the grits. And for grits, I never, never measure for grits. I just go ahead and put my grits in first. Try to get a feel of how much I want. Now, when it comes to the water, again, I never measure. I just kind of put it slightly over top of the grits. 
and then it's better to have to add more uh, water to it as it cooks rather than to put too much water in there and then you end up having to add more grits to it and then it's not going to be cooking even because the ones that you have in there is already cooked and then you gotta put some raw ones in there yada 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 All right, that's just about over top of the grits. Okay, it's actually uh, self-ignite as well. I think I'm saying that right, yeah. Somehow in my mind, I wanna say ignition, <laughs> but I know that's the star Chikara. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get some butter in these grits and some pepper and some salt because we're going to have to season these grits up because y'all know grits is bland. I'm also going to put some hot sauce in there. Let me check this right quick. I need that to be a little thicker than that. Put some hot sauce in there, some salt. And let me get some butter. already hear this grits starting to boil up I may need some more I may need some more butter so I'm gonna leave that there of course you guys know the key to cooking grits is low and slow and constant staring of it. Now I like my grits. Let me move y'all up a little closer. I feel like y'all are so far away. I like my grits to be more on the chunky side than the creamy side. Let me take a quick look at this. I'm gonna have to get this a stir because this is something that you have to keep stirring too so that it can thicken up. Okay, it's coming along. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shrimp in there and give that some time while the grits is finishing up. Back y'all back up, back it up. So you guys can see what's happening here. I'm gonna put some more butter in here. And a little bit more water.
more salt. All right, my grits are coming along. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pay some attention to this uh, shrimp. Right, we're gonna give that uh, we're gonna give that shrimp a little bit of help not the shrimp but the sauce it's not as thick as I would like it now and I'm not gonna use another cube so all right guys this is the finished product here have an ice cold water. Now I must say, I can already tell that it's not gonna give me the flavors that I like and I get when I fix the curry chicken because I keep the curry chicken and the sauce in there for two hours, give it plenty of time to go ahead and, you know, develop its flavors, the curry flavors, where this is my first time trying to just make a curry sauce again it's not as thick as i would like it to be and i was not willing to put another cube in there so let's give it a shot um i wish i had some some green onions or something to uh put on the top of it i did add some of this uh badaya complete on top of it along with another dash of pepper on top so let's give it a go and see how it goes uh, worst case scenario, I'll try it again at some point and improve it then. But I'm already anticipating that <laughs> it's not going to be a wowzer. <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot here. The grits are very good. Wow. I did a good job on the grits. Mmm. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness, it tastes better than I thought it would taste. All right. Whoa. Mmm. It really does. Mmm. I need some more sauce because the grits soaked up some of the sauce. But wow, okay. All 
I'm just gonna go crazy with it. Just go crazy with it. Wow. I don't know, y'all. This might be a W O W S E. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm, this is pretty good. All righty. Man, if that sauce, if that sauce was just a little bit thicker, mmm, oh my goodness. But yeah, better than I thought it would be. My bottom dentures have been giving me problems lately because from taking them out and every day, I don't know if you guys are familiar with dentures or not, but especially the kind that I have, but they have like ridges that fits right in between your teeth and the end of it. I think I talked about this when I first got the uh, dentures. At the end of it, it seemed like every time I pull them out, it scrapes up against this side of the inside of my gums. Well, anywho, I got a little cut. It feels like I got a little cut in my mouth. And um, when I put them in, I can feel it. Now, it's better today. That's why I have a day without dentures to try to give that whatever's going on down there in there time to kind of heal up a little bit. But I can't wait to get my um, my permanent uh, dentures because as I mentioned to you guys before, I'm not going to get these hard acrylic ones. I'm going to get the soft ones. Mm. I don't know why I'm blowing because it them cool down. Wow, look at that breakfast on there. Don't that look good? <laughs> that looks really, really good there, boy. I definitely think that there is room for improvement with this dish. The shrimp is the shrimp is good. But one thing about shrimp, if you cook it too fast, like in a boiling motion, it will toughen up on you. That's why I only kept the shrimp in there for a very short period of time. I can already tell because they were getting starting to get smaller. Mm. I missed the tail. I don't usually miss no tails. Alrighty, alrighty. Mm. 
All right, guys. I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Just thought I'd make a different kind or try a different type of breakfast. I'm definitely going to make this again. Probably not on camera because I think I can improve this. But this is a W-O-W-S-E. No, let's take the E back. This is a W-O-W-S. A wild, a wild, you know. My middle sister is so proud. The one that I went to meet yesterday. I showed you guys a couple photos of our meals and what I had yesterday at, I think the restaurant is called Salsa's Cocina and Cocoa Beach. And my sister is so proud of what I have accomplished with uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, she and one of her best friends and myself had a long talk about it and over dinner yesterday, or lunch I should say, and the two of them had a lot of questions for me and everything in regards of the lifestyle and everything. And she just kept on saying how proud of she is of me and, you know, for sticking in there for the eight years. She couldn't believe that I had a YouTube channel for eight years because she just now found out about it last year. And it's great when you hear someone that is in your family let you know that, you know, hey, you did a, you're doing a great job and, you know, you hung in there all that time. And so we had a really good conversation over dinner and I felt really happy, you know, that she was telling me to my face that she was very proud of what I have accomplished with the YouTube channel. Okay, before I need a tissue, <laughs> Psych, I ain't gonna need no tissue. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that, you know that, you know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.